Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Max here with another video. So, if you've been following along, this video is for my journey to the cybersecurity program at WGU. So, the course we're going to talk about today is Introduction to Cryptography C839. This course is pretty boring. A lot of this stuff was very dry. And, obviously, it's, it's interesting, but it's boring. So, there's that. But, if you want to pass this course, I'll show you guys all the resources and stuff that you'll need. So the first one will be the stuff that you find in the course chatter. So when you get to the course homepage and whatnot, you'll go here in the course chatter, and then this will bring you to this page right here. So this page has a bunch of resources that you can use. And I think one of these, one of these is a lot of like the block and key sizes. You definitely want to know these because there's a lot of question on block size, sizes and key sizes. So definitely study that that guide right there. And also you want to know the, you want to know the formulas as well because there's a lot of questions on formulas so size encryption and decryption. And another video course that was really helpful which is provided to you free of charge is this one right here. So this one right here intro to crypt advanced cryptography concepts and whatnot. This course is really helpful. He goes over details and a lot of the stuff that you will see on your exam. And if you guys are a student at WGU, you can actually get a lot of stuff on Udemy without having to pay for them, which is really good. So, which this course is included in that as well. So that's the second resources that you'll need. And back to Udemy, these three, I mean, four practice tests are extremely helpful. As you can see right now, this is the price range for it. And usually a lot of these stuff always goes on sale anyway. So you can, you'll, you'll find it at that price at some point. But these four practice tests were really helpful. And what else? And lastly, there's at least a couple Quizlets. I think there's like five modules. Those were really helpful as well. So I'll include a link for all of these in the description below. So this course is boring, it's dry. I mean, there's, it's not fun, but obviously if you're not past the class, you'll definitely want to study. And also what was the other one? Oh, this book right here is in the course material. So if you, when you log in, you get to the course on page, go to the course material, you'll find this book. I will not read the general book that's in the course. I'll read this one, the EC Council book. This one was really helpful and it goes into details of all the materials and stuff. So about one, two, three, four. All these four resources are pretty much what you will need to pass this course. I mean, like I said before, this course is very dry, but if you study, you'll definitely pass. From my experience, the Pre-assessment wasn't too close to the objective assessment, which I thought was weird, but most of the stuff that was in the objective assessment was, wasn't in a pre-assessment. So a lot of what I studied within these resources right here, a lot of the questions came up. So to go back over to a lot of the stuff that I said, block sizes, key sizes, formula, you wanna know these down pat, because a lot of the questions involves some sort of block or key sizes and you also want to get familiar with pki i saw a lot of questions in pki so questions as if you're encrypting which key do you use to encrypt which key do you use to decrypt which key is used for digital signatures you want to you want to make sure you get these because there's a lot of questions that involves pki and lastly my best advice will be to use a whiteboard because if you have a whiteboard you can write down the formulas write down questions that you already saw that you might use later on. So using a white whiteboard for this course is extremely helpful. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. I'll include all this information in the description, how you can pass this course. If you guys have any question, shoot me an email. And that's pretty much it for today. And I'll see you guys next time.